Morning guys, we've just got up and we've just had a parcel received. Uh, we've had a little handheld vacuum cleaner sent from Emma at Bugatti uh, Marketing Department. They sell these on Amazon. We're gonna check it out, take a look at it and see how it works. So there you go, that's what we've just received this morning. Look at that, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? What does it say it does, Poppy? It's a brushless motor, cordless, uh, fast charging, ultra lightweight. This is the sort of thing that you can use for your car. For us, stairs, that's what we'll try it out on today is the stairs, because it's a nightmare dragging a big Uber up on there. And Dad will definitely uh, try this out on his car later. Okay, let's see what it's like. Oh, blimey. As you can see, Poppy way. carefully undoes it. No, the lid would have just lift up. Oh. <laughs> right, let's see what we've got. Oh, look at this. That looks good, does it? So we've got an instruction book that tells us all about it. Oh, that's more bigger. Right, undo that. Let's undo that. Then let's have a look. It comes out this way. Oh, so look, turn that round. That's shiny. So that's roughly the size of it. Let's have a look at it. And it says there, to empty the DOS container, just press this button. Mm, that's, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we, so there's the main hoover. What have we got? Sort of attach, all different attachments with it. That one. A little brush there. I think this is to charge it. Yeah, that's to charge it. The plug. And there's something else we've got in. Two things. Well, that's that's only that's only for the stairs. And I don't know. that must be the cover where it goes on with the battery. Right, guys, we're going to get this charged up, and uh, we're going to give it a try and go over it in a bit more detail. We've got some new porridge. Well, I'm not into porridge. It's me. To be honest, it's poppy. But you have got Quaker Oats porridge for and one pound. Oh yeah, for one pound, and you get how many sachets? Six. Six sachets. But, this is a bit weird, we've never done this before with porridge. So these Quaker Oats, you get it in a bag, and then you have to put your milk into this line, up to this line here, just open it, and then stick it in the microwave. So we're going to see what it's like. And that is your quick porridge. Two and a half minutes. I suppose if you want, you can add a bit more milk in it. It looks a bit stodgy to me, but see how Poppy likes it. What's your Quaker Oaks porridge like, Pops? It's good. That's quite good, isn't it? Two and a half minutes, got your porridge all sorted. The recipe is to put a little bit of sugar in. Oh yeah, you got to have sugar in your porridge, haven't you? Right guys, that is the nice stand it comes in. Oh, look at that. That looks a bit posh, don't it? We've charged it up. Let's have a play. I don't do this often with an Uber. So all we do is... Oh. Look, Pops, Dad zoomed in. <laughs> Actually, that's got quite good suction. Oh, God, that's got it quite... It does look quite good. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you can feel the suction. Is that maximum speed? Yep, that's maximum speed. That's quite good, isn't it? If anyone wants to know, I'm doing the vlogging. Yep. I'm filming. Guys, Lucy's just come in and she said, Dad, I've got you a bargain. Let's see. Let's see, Lucy. See, I'm getting excited now. Is it a bargain I'm going to like? I feel like it's cream eggs. No. I've got a feeling it's mince pies. No. <laughs> no. It's Coke. Coke. 1.7 for 6. Oh. That's a bargain. Well that done bargain. Well done, Lou. This is a mop thing. Half price. Love it. Well done. Lucy's on the bargain hunt today. Now the excitement is over with. Playing with the Hoover and bargains that Lucy's got. Me and Poppy's going down to town having a little walk around. 
lovely day today. Guys, me and Poppy have just gone into the bakery and we've got, what we got, Pops, you've got a? I've got a ham and cucumber roll. I've got a sausage and mustard. Don't ask me why I picked that, but we've got that. And a couple of sausage rolls from the local bakery. We're gonna sit down the seafront now. Guys, we're not going down the beach to start with to eat these. Poppy knows a nice little garden to uh, go and eat in. So we're going up there. Look at that for a view where we're walking at the moment. So this is as you come into Ramsgate, uh, come in this way or the other way. But look at that for a view as you come oh, down. Yeah. Also, those aren't, that isn't Pizza Express, that's flats now. This what? Flats? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's not Pizza Express anymore. So there, look at that for a lovely view. Right, where's this garden there so we can sit down and have something to eat? I didn't even know this existed. And all the years what I've lived here. Oh, that's quite nice, Pops. Well, look, you've got the sea over there. How did you know about this? Mum always used to take me here. Oh, you used to come with Mummy? That's what Poppy's got. What have you got? Cheese and Cheese cucumber. Up. I thought it was ham. Was I've got that? sausage and mustard. It's lovely here. This is. I tell you what, it's so hot today as well. This could be the last of the good weather, Pops, this weekend. That was a lovely background setting, Pops, picked for us today, didn't you, Pops? But yeah. We're just going to have. A, yeah, we had a seagull as well next to us. We're just going to go down and have a quick look on the beach now. Um, Poppy spotted something that she wants. <laughs> what do you want? Ice cream. Mm, I don't know if I can eat one or not. I'm blown up from that sausage roll. Let's have a look. Flavours that. Bubble gum. Tastes nice. Got a Mr. Whippy one and I almost dropped it as I went to I record on a camera. It was almost a goner on the floor. Anyway, let's go down the beach and have a look quite busy on the beach pops well it isn't it isn't it's like 12 or 5 oh it's such a lovely day for it today so we sit down somewhere and eat his ice cream mm -hmm. there's the beach again we just we've had his ice cream and we're just gonna have a walk along the harbour now look at that Oh, the water looks green in the harbour pumps. It's kind of ugly. Ugly. <laughs> right. Oh, look, there's the paddle steamer we vlogged a couple of weeks ago. Look what they've done to it now. It had all paint on it. They've took all the paint off it. I was going to have a look at that. You want to walk on the cliffs, don't you? Yeah. Come on, then we'll walk back. Well, there's the paddle steamer. Look at that. They start to take all the paint off of it to restore it. Is that is yeah, I'd like to come down here once they finally get it off the berth here and uh, get it going out to sea. So there's the, that's how it operates. Look, what? it's got those paddles there that go round to make it move. Can you see? No. My dad's pointing the camera. Here we're going. This is a bit I don't like. We're climbing the mosaic stairs to get up to the cliffs. <laughs> oh, Pops, I'm out of condition, I am. I'm knackered already. Same. <laughs> Since I even stepped on the first step. Guys, we've made it up to the top. There's Weatherspoons there in the harbour. Dad, do you know what I just realised, yeah? Yeah. You know that, them, that yeah. they're building? Yeah. The pillars, yeah? Like, two or three years ago, I, like, done something with them at, like, my old school. Did you? Yeah. What she's talking about is over there what they're building is luxury flats. Look at that for a view. They were only little pillars. Overlooking before. the sea. How they, nice. It was like a game thing. It was like an arcade before. I think. How long it'll take to build all down here and everything. Well, the flats seem to be coming along okay. Look at this guys. All these lovely views that you have in Ramsgate. We're lucky living here, aren't we, Pops? Yeah. There's the bandstand over there. They have a lot of live music there in the summer. Right, guys, I've been slaving over the 
cook up for the last two hours and 20 minutes. Look what I've cooked. Well, that's what I cooked today, guys. So we've got a doner kebab, all salad, chili sauce. Poppy's got kebab meat and chips and a bit of salad. Jack's got cheesy chips and a doner wrap. And obviously I did cook it myself. We just went across the road and got a takeaway. Guys, Saturday is not for cooking. It's against the law, you know it. Morning guys. Oh yeah, you're looking very pretty today. I'll check Poppy out. The sophisticated young lady out. <laughs> young lady. Yeah guys, I am having an absolute nightmare. Right, our house, where it's built, is built onto another one at the back of us, in another street, and our gas meter is there. Now I'm getting grief off of British Gas that keeps saying to me, can you give me a gas meter reading? I've been round their house several times, banged on the door, what it is, it's all been converted like yeah, what it is, there's a load of foreigners live there. Um, I think from Romania or somewhere, but they never answer the bloody door. So how do I get the gas meter reading? Me and Pops is going round there now, and the last gas meter I gave was a year ago, so I reckon I'm gonna be in for a well hefty bill, for a well hefty bill, because it's all been sort of estimated the past year. She's going around in now to see if they'll actually let us in to get a meter reading. So here goes, fingers crossed. As we've been banging and banging and banging on the door. Nobody's answering the door, but apparently um, after asking the neighbor, they were called different hours, long hours and everything else. So I don't know, I don't know what to do. Try again a bit later. Maybe they're all asleep, you just don't know, dear. Uh, what are we doing now in Tesco's, Poppy? Having breakfast. We're gonna go for a bit of breakfast, then do a bit of shop. Oh, hang on, we've done this the wrong way round. We need to do the shopping afterwards, when we're going home. So me and Pops are going for a quick fried breakfast, then do a bit of shopping. No, we do the shopping afterwards. We're gonna go out for a drive. We'll just go for a fried breakfast, guys. Neither of us know what we're doing. Right guys, so on Sunday we just done a bit of shopping, done a bit of chilling out down the beach, that sort of thing. Nothing that exciting. We're talking about exciting things. Right guys, I am gonna stick the link in the description for this little portable vacuum cleaner and I tell you what, it is good. I should have showed you actually, I hoovered my car out with it. Oh my God, it made a blinding job. Anyway, links will be in the description. The price is usually £89.99 and uh, you get it on Amazon. That's the link I'll be putting in, but I'm gonna put a special code in. 20 quid off, guys, 20 quid. So you're, if you put this code in on the link I'm putting in, you'll get 20 pound off, 69.99. Honestly, it is brilliant. I've just had to literally put it on charge because the girls are permanently using it and not putting it back on charge afterwards. I'm gonna have to get them trained. Anyway guys, so everything will be in the description anyway. Anyway guys, this weekend I'm going Dartford. I'm not gonna take my camera. We'll do a bit of vlogging up there, see what it's like. It's gonna be a nice change. It's just me having a day without children going up there. So yeah, we'll do a vlog and we'll see what fun we get up to. Just remember one thing, You've seen my hoovering. If you want to hire me to come and hoover your house, £10 an hour. <laughs> right, I'm going to shoot off, guys, put this vlog together, and we'll catch you next week. Bye.